So this is an eye color 560 white toner printer. It's printing my design right now. It's printing it on uh, the A sheet of uh, two step transfer and I'll show you how to finish it off. So this is your A sheet. This is your B sheet. That's the adhesive. So this is what we just printed. Okay. You're going to flip that over, print side up, and then you're going to take this, you're going to leave the grid side up, adhesive side down, okay, and then you're going to fold the corner just a little bit, okay, and I have my press at 310, okay, and I have been, uh, I've had it pressed down on the platen for about five minutes to heat it up. You want to be able to feel heat on that bottom platen. Okay, so we're going to go over to the press okay, now. So now we're at our press. Like I said, it's at about 310. I'm going to raise my press up. And I'm going to put this right in the middle of it. Adhesive side up. And try to get it so that no adhesive gets on my press. Try to kind of center it on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a sheet of. Actually, I'm gonna change this around. I want, um, I want my. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up here. I want my um, my tabbed corner on this end so that I can pull it up easily. And then I'm going to cover it with Teflon sheet. I have this um, at medium, medium high pressure. The instructions say medium. I have it on medium, medium high. Um, so... I need to do this for approximately, not approximately, for 120 seconds. So I'll let you, I'll turn this off for now. Okay, so it has been two minutes. I'm going to open my press up. Okay, now at this point I'm going to turn my press down, okay? I'm going to turn my press down to I am going to turn my press down to um, 285. Okay? And now I'm going to open this up now this is what I'm going to do. You got to be very careful that you're not, um, that you, I'm taking my Teflon sheet off. You got to be careful that you are not, um, releasing the heat from the bottom too quickly. So you want to take it off and let it sit. I'm going to count to three. And then what I'm going to do is without lifting it too much off of this, the sheet, with, or I'm sorry, without lifting it too much off the platen, I'm going to take this, my tab, and I'm going to very gently, starting slow, and getting a little bit faster as I go. Oh, and I got caught on there. Hopefully that didn't mess it up too badly. Moving a little bit quicker as I go. Oh, that hot, 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 hot. And then slowing down at the very end. Oh, it looks like I got a perfect peel to look at that I did. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that is that. Whew, that was hot. So, um, that is not usually that hot. I think I let it heat up a little bit too long. So the next thing you want to do is um, cut off just the edges. So you can see I'm just cutting off the edges. And the reason that is, is that, um, get a little bit of these on it. Um, sometimes you can get a little bit of adhesive right on the edge, so you just want to just cut off the edges, 
to make sure this is gonna be nice. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. And you can see that white. So while this is a white toner printer, and um, so what that means is that I can print something and put it on a black shirt or any dark shirt. The nice thing with this too is that it doesn't have to be polyester like sublimation does. This can go on any, any type of fabric. So that's gonna look absolutely awesome. Um, you can see the, love it. Um, so, okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, um, our shirt and we're gonna put it on here and then um, I'm putting down a pressing pillow this time. And you're gonna take your shirt and you're gonna press your shirt just to get um, any kind of humidity out of the shirt that you may have in it, any moisture. So put your shirt down, Teflon sheet down. Close your press, just long enough, maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, long enough to get any of that steam, that humidity out of the shirt, that'll always give you a better press. Okay, now what I do to find my center is I take and I do, actually this way, see that? And then I kind of shake it out. And then once I've done that, I just kind of crease. I just kind of crease down the center like that so that I can have some kind of line of where that center is. I've spent a lot of money on a lot of tools um, and some of them help some, but honestly, I mean, that, that works perfectly. So, okay. And then same thing with this to find your center, just kind of, and then you don't want to crease your design too much, but kind of get yourself a, what your center is there. You generally want to go three fingers down. It's kind of hard for me to put my fingers there and show you, but you're generally looking for, unless it's a V-neck, you're looking for about three fingers down from the collar line, maybe two, two and a quarter if it's a kid's shirt, um, but that's, that's about right. So, okay, take that. This is going to be so cute. I love how, and I'll link in the description, this font is a brand new font that I just got. Absolutely love it. Um, this is a font that I've had forever and love that too. I'll link both of those in the description as well as this lady. So this lady, the um, messy bun lady, it, this particular one has a separate layer for the glasses so that you can make the glasses anything you want. And you can do this. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, white toner. This is a neat thing for me. I love it. But you can also do the same type of thing in sublimation, but you would have to do it on white, of course, or light color. And of course, it would have to be polyester. So... Um, but I'll link all of that in the description. I'll also link um, uh, the white toner group. Uh, they are amazing. It's been so helpful to me to have, you know, people that really know what they're doing. Um, so I'll link the white toner Facebook group. Super friendly, super helpful. Uh, just really nice people. Make sure you join. Even if you're just trying to check it out you'll want to it's really it's a neat craft so um okay so now at again 285 medium pressure i'm going to press this for 30 seconds
Okay, so let's go ahead and just want to give it just one more second. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move this. Let me give myself a little bit of room. We're going to move this um, with everything in tap. So we're going to move it with uh, the Teflon sheet on there. Um, well, not, I guess for that, for this time, it doesn't matter. So you'll see. So I'll open this up and then what I'll do, I guess for this time, I don't actually need the Teflon sheet. There's a second press that I will though. So um, I'll move this and you need to let this cool down before you go any further. So you're going to want to take this off of your press. I'm going to put it over here on my table. Okay. And then just give it, I'm going to, I'll move the camera over here now. Okay. So now we have our white toner print all pressed. Uh, the shirt has cooled down. That's really important. And then we're going to take and we are going to peel this back. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, so you can see that it's a little bit shiny. Still, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a little bit shiny. So what you do is after you have your sheet off, then you take it back over to the press. I'm gonna take it back over there. So we're back at the press and um, we're at about 390, or not 390, excuse me, 290. And if I said, now I'm thinking that I may have said um, 380 earlier. If I did, it's not, it's 280. So <laughs> put that on there. Now this time, instead of a Teflon sheet, I'm gonna use craft paper. You could also use parchment paper if you want. I'm gonna use craft paper and then just one second. So now actually I take that back. This time we're going to increase our temperature back up to So we're gonna put it back up at 310. So the temperatures are, give me just one second, I'll get this closed and then I'll tell you all the temperatures from the beginning. So we have our shirt, we have, oh, we have our pressing pill, we have our shirt, and then we have our craft, our craft paper down. And now I'm gonna close this at 310. And this time it is going to be for about 20 seconds. Okay, so let's just quickly go back over the pressing or the pressing temperatures. So the first press um, with just the A and B sheet to marry them is at 310 for 120 seconds. And then you drop down to about 285, and that is to do um, your press onto your shirt at about 285. Uh, and then for the second press, you're gonna press it at back up to 310, and this is just for about 20 seconds. Okay, so I can go ahead and turn my press off now. Now this is what I was talking about. When I remove this, I wanna remove the craft paper with it because it's still hot, and I don't wanna peel up any part of my design on accident. So I'm gonna take this over here to cool it off, and I'm taking my craft, I'll bring it over here in a second. I'm taking my craft sheet with me, my craft paper sheet with me, until it cools down so that I can peel that off in one, one pull, okay? And I will go ahead and I will bring you over here with me. Okay, so this is it. This is the final part of our process. Our shirt, we have the craft sheet down. I'm gonna pull the craft sheet up and we're gonna see our design underneath. Oh, that's fantastic. So that is uh, nice and matte. It's not shiny anymore. See how that's matte? And do you see the picture on the glasses? See how clear that is? Ah, oh, looks so good. So happy with that. So like I said, I will link in the description um, this font, this font, this lady. I will also link the white transfer, um, the white toner transfer group. Uh, definitely join, even if just to check out what they do. It's so neat. It's such a neat, uh, such a neat tool to work with. Um, but I mean, that's about it. 
if you if this video was neat to you if you uh, are a Cricut or Silhouette user um, white toner printer user um, and you, know, you feel that you could benefit from my videos like this video but also subscribe I come out with new videos a few times a week you'll get notification when the new ones come out just lots of different ways teaching you how to design for yourself and then how to produce those designs okay have a good day bye